right, now we're going to pick up with adding another slide. So you're going to add a content with caption side. So make sure you're on your home tab and insert new slide, content with caption. And in this side, slide, we're going to add a video. There's two ways to do it. If you're in the most modern version of PowerPoint, I want you to insert a video from YouTube. So it can be any video from YouTube that you like. Um, I'm just going to look for one of mine. And I will just insert this one. And then I'll put in a title for it. And I will put in a brief description. Now, if you don't have the most modern v version, what I want you to do instead is put in a hyperlink. So you can just go to YouTube and again find something that you want to share. Use your share setting and copy and paste the link. And so you can just paste it this way. So this shows you, and then if you hit enter, it gives you a link. So the way that this would work is if you are in PowerPoint 2015 and you hit play, it will just play the embedded video. But if you're in one of the older versions, you can use a hyperlink to take you to the website to play a video. So those are both ways to add video to PowerPoint. Do the one that's appropriate for the version that you're working with. To return to your slideshow, you'll hit Escape. For the next step, we're going to insert a blank slide. So we're going to choose New Slide, and I want you to choose just blank so there's nothing on it. This is going to let us do some custom animation. Before we do that, we're going to need to add something to animate. So we're going to go to Insert, and we're going to select a shape. I'm going to use the smiley face so I can show you some of the options that it has. Now when you're using a shape like this, notice that there's a yellow box here that lets me change some of the shape features. Some of your shapes have those options. You also can change colors, styles, things like that. Now I'm going to go to the animations pane. And you can always do things with on entrance for emphasis or on exit. But what I want to do is I want to put in a custom animation. So I'm going to select what I want to animate and in animations I'm going to choose custom path and that will let me draw the path that my shape will follow. And when I double click it plays it. Now that's really fast because the line is drawn very long so I can change my timing and I can make it last longer. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit So we're going to test this from the current slide. So I'm going to hit the 
slideshow button. Tested from the current slide. You're seeing a transition there because I was testing it before. And when I click, you'll see the animation take effect. Okay, that's a less common type of animation. It's more likely you're going to animate a bulleted list. So we're going to put in a new slide and we're going to use title and content. And I'm just going to type in animating bullets and we'll add four bullets. And then it's a good idea to change your font so that you're using most of the screen. It looks better if you do that. Change your font size. And that takes up most of the screen. And I'm going to select all of my bullets and I'm going to go to the animations. I want to do an entrance effect. So you can choose any entrance effect you'd like. Um, I find that fly in and float in are the least distracting, so I'm going to use one of those. This was okay, but they all came in together, and what I really want to happen is I want to change it so each one starts on click. So I will click each bullet in turn and change it to start on click, and then I'll test this slide. So each time I click, I can sit and talk about the bullet, and that lets them come up as I'm talking about them. Okay, so now I want to show you how to rearrange your slides. And there's two ways to do this. I want the two animations to appear at the top as numbers slides two and three. You can do it right here from the normal slideshow view. So I'm going to take slide number six and slide it up so it becomes slide number two. The other way you can do it is to go to the view tab and choose slide sorter and that lets you have a larger view of each one. So I'm going to now take this one and I'm going to make it slide 3. Now I want to apply slide transitions. That's the effects that you get when you move from one slide to another. And there's lots of them. Subtle is generally better in a real presentation. I think that fade is a reasonably good one if you're going to use slide transitions. And you can just see it fades from one to another. But if we're just playing around with it, I think that the ones that are more fun are the ones in here. And I'm going to apply to all. And then let's take a look at the slideshow to see how that works. So I'm going to play the slideshow from the beginning. and you see you get an interesting transition. If you have a lot of slides for a mature audience, this is often a little annoying. Usually just blurring from one to the other is a better effect, but kids tend to like this one, and if you're only doing a few slides, it might be fun. And to leave your presentation at any time, you can hit Escape. So at this point, you're going to save the presentation. as your name, PowerPoint Lab 2, and then you're going to hand that in. 